to say as we get into the front door, we went through where to uh, uh, conduct the conversation, or if you want to call it a presentation. After that, we dissected and discussed uh, what went on and what occurred and the transitions through the through the tour. Uh, and then we talked about and discussed and dissected a little bit about the discovery, then the transition from the discovery and the tour into the pricing. We talked about that transition that point. Yesterday, uh, we dissected and talked about pricing. Okay, so now we're done with the pricing. This is generally where uh, the, the, the customer and yourself as a practitioner, we're coming to a summit, coming to the end. We can see the, the end in mind and they know that they're gonna be asked to do something. We know our job is to ask them to do something. And so we're, we're almost there. So we've agreed on around a price, okay? We've agreed about when we're going to put it on the market generally at this point in time. So now uh, generally the questions come out, okay? This is where the, the customer is gonna ask you some questions. Now, for some of us here that have been in the business, I know we don't get asked this question, okay? You know, what is going to happen next? Normally, you know, if you've been in the business long enough, you make a great presentation, you slow, you slam down the price and you say, let's go ahead and get started based upon the times we've talked about, the pins come out, the smiles happen, the hands get shaken and we're done, okay? But that's not everybody here. And that doesn't go for everybody here. So, uh, and it doesn't go for me either because if I'm competing uh, for a listing, I need to have everything prepared in advance which is why before we got into the listing presentation, we talked about the pre-qualification to confirm and pre-qualify the listing appointment. So now we know whether or not we're gonna need or whether or not it will be necessary to introduce this portion of the, of the uh, conversation. So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, find out where everyone is at based upon what you do to market my house. So I'm gonna be the customer, okay? Manny, um, I'm gonna ask you to go first and there is no wrong way to do this. Uh, I know uh, that for some of you that have visual aids and guides at PowerPoints, this is where you introduce this, okay? Because they wanna see some visual things uh, oftentimes, this is another area where you increase and produce value for yourself. So, um, Manny, are you available? Yeah, I'm available. Okay. okay. Well, Manny, you know, I, I appreciate everything you've said. Um, I do have another person that I'm talking to. Uh, I think you're correct on your pricing. A little less than what I was originally thinking. That's probably true with most sellers, anyways. So, you know, if we move ahead with you at seven hundred fifty thousand, what are you going to do to get our home sold? We may have. What I hear you asking me is. What am I gonna? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, how do I usually approach it? Is I say, um, well, here's the thing. Pretty much all agents are gonna tell you the same thing. We're all gonna put it on the MLS. We're all gonna put it on the online and all of that stuff. But what you're asking me is, what am I gonna do different from another agent? Yeah. And for me. What, Is that, is that I'm understanding you right? Is that what you're asking me? Your your phone's going in and out, Manny. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm driving today, Todd. Sorry, okay. I'm running I'm gonna, a little late. Uh, you, 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 you just uh, rest and be careful driving. I'm going to pick on somebody else. Celine? <laughs> okay. I'm driving too, but I let's see. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. 
Um, yeah. So can you repeat the question, please? Tom? Sure. You know, you know, Celine. I, you know, I think that we're where we're at right now on the pricing isn't as much as I would want. That probably goes with a lot of sellers. Um, we are entertaining another real estate broker. Um, we love everything you have to say, and you're spot on with getting the house prepared. Um, and what what are you going to do that would persuade me to list and sell with you versus somebody else? Yeah, no, um, I hear exactly what you're saying. You want to interview a couple other people, which is completely fair, because you want to know what all your options are. You know, sure. you want to make sure you're making the best decision on this very expensive um, and high dollar cost opportunity. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want to get the most money and the best value. And I will tell you that I will work so hard for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, as you can tell, as soon as you call me or text me, I'm right there. I'm, I'm there available to help you. Okay. I'm, you know, I try to be as active as possible. I'm here for you, okay. and um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. Um, this this part of the conversation, and, and trust me, um, I don't have my visual aids that I use to enter into these types of conversations, right? Um, I have a PowerPoint that if I know <laughs> it's going to be necessary, or if I'm not using a PowerPoint, I will have it available to put out there. To stick in front of them okay good that's fine um how about you marie okay so actually this goes along with something i wanted to discuss too what do, do people do differently right um you know obviously we all have the same resources so todd i guess um you know i know you're considering listing with me and you've also interviewed other agents and i really really appreciate your time to talk with me thank you um your home sale is very important to me um i think i think the best resource i have is the number of years i've been in the business i have lots of contacts mm -hmm. in the business mm -hmm. so whenever i put a home on the market i also reach out to agents that i know and trust that might have clients that are interested because all of us have currently buyers that are looking that have been unable to find things. So I reach out to other agents that I know, hey, they might have some interested clients. Okay. Um, you know, because as you know, everybody puts it on the MLS. Yep. It's out there on all the websites. So that's just something that is, is part of what everybody does. My other tool is I'm a really good negotiator for you. Okay. You know, I'm very experienced in multiple offer situations. Um, I'm very experienced in how to get the highest offer or the best offer for you. And the other thing is, um, for me, it's, it's all about the client. I really do care. So okay. that's, the, that's the biggest important thing to work with me. Okay, good, good. We're adding on that. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, how about next? I'd like Coach to Jim. Oh. Coach Jim. I need to turn my camera off. I'm driving, Todd. <laughs> Ha! I saw you at your desk in Arizona, buddy. I recognize a background. All right. Let's try. So, yeah, I totally agree with you, Todd. Fair enough. You want to interview a couple of their agents, but I do want to stress to you what sets me apart from the puts me at the at the uh, at the cream of the of the coffee, if you will. Yeah. Um, first, I'm not your everyday agent. I've been in this for 11 years. I'm an investor. Uh, I'm also a coach for all of our new agents that come through. Okay. Um, I literally treat every transaction as if it were my own, okay? okay? The name of the game is to get premium pricing in a timely manner. I We are to discuss the price. I have no intent of uh, trying to get this home under contract within the first hour. That That means to me that I did something wrong and that I've left money on the table. Okay. Um, at the same time, I'm, we're not going to be doing a just reduced or a new price uh, on your home in, you know, in two weeks or 30 days because that means that we've overpriced it. Mm -hmm. So we've already agreed on the price. Uh, yep. I think that's really going to be our sweet spot. Okay. Um, another is that when it does go under contract. Uh, we're going to have, hopefully, potentially, multiple offers. So mm -hmm. I've got the experience to leverage those 
multiple okay. offers and get you the the strongest uh, highest priced uh, buyer that I feel that along with your input that we feel uh, right. is going to get us in a smooth and timely close it's going to get the deal done right okay. and then um, you know everybody puts it on the MLS but not everybody is when it comes to communication uh, to my fault uh, literally I'm available 24-7 okay. uh, text email call I, I'm here to relieve as much of the stress of this transaction on you and your wife as much as I possibly can so if you've got questions or concerns or whatnot, I'll pick up the phone or text me and we'll, we'll get things, uh, get those things taken care of. Huh? And then um, the other is when we do want to go under contract, we do get the right buyer. They're going to do an inspection. And when they come back, they may accept it as is or they may even waive it. That would be the ideal situation is they waive it. But um, as you well or you did an inspection on, on your home so many buyers are going to want an inspection in case we do get a buyer that wants an inspection I've got an army of contractors that I've already vetted uh, I already know that they're on you know on the phone and we'll get things whipped out and taken care of for us if we come across the bridge where we've negotiated that we'll take care of something we've got contractors that uh, can whip it out for us um, and then the other is before we even get it under contract I get it listed I put the sign up well I'm also very heavy on social media uh, with on Facebook and Instagram I know it sounds kind of weird for me and you our demographic but uh, it's it's really for the younger generation uh, that's a big deal out there so I also will market it on the social media platforms to get as many folks eyeballs on this property as we possibly can. And when we're ready to go on the market uh, that weekend, I'll be doing an open house to, uh, if, you're, if you're okay with it, but ideally we want to get as many uh, eyeballs and feet through this home uh, to get as many uh, potential multiple offers as we can. Okay. At the end of the day, Todd, I without uh, you know as well as I do, I've set you. You were referred by Becky and Tom, and I did a great job with them. And um, I'm going to do the same white glove service with you. And I I say we sit that don't even bother wasting your time interviewing the other agents. Let's just uh, knuckle down and let's let's get the listing agreement going. And I'll get on the phone and get my photographer out here and get this ball rolling. All right, all right, all right. We're getting a little deeper now. We're getting some more dialogue. We're getting a little deeper. Uh, Kim, I heard you, uh, uh, you have something to say, I believe. Yeah, so Jim pretty much nailed it. Mine was a little more simplistic. So my, okay. my approach would be to let them know when you sign with me, you have not only myself, you have the, my entire team behind me, which brings years of experience. Um, some of some of the creative things I plan to do to market your home for this listing is I am going to I will create a video for social media really highlighting the the um, the positive aspects of this neighborhood why do you love living in this neighborhood so much and why will others love living in this neighborhood why do you love your home so much because this is what others will love about your home when they purchase it um, when we host our open house, I'm going to door knock. I'm going to invite others to your home. I'm going to be very proactive and very creative mm, to list your home and highlighting the pop of your home, the, the great school district, um, some of the favorite restaurants that are close by. I'm going to really highlight why, why someone should choose your home, this neighborhood, your community. What are the really, what are the great features about living in this home, this neighborhood, in this community? Excellent, excellent add-on, excellent add-on. Yes, it See, was. We're, we're compiling, we're gathering information, we're helping each other grow and learn and sharpen, iron sharpens iron. Excellent, Kim, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Murray. Uh, 
um, I'm not too much too too sure here uh, what to add to this. Uh, okay, well, just give give what you have. So, uh, Doug, you know, I, I think I agree on the price, not as much as I'd like. Um, I I have talked uh, to someone else. I'm talking to you, and I've got one other person to talk to. So, what are you going to do to get the, my home sold if I choose you? Uh, well, the steps are the same regardless of who you hire. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think it all comes down to a matter of who you trust, who you believe, and who you want to work with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is a this is a personal choice, and you need to work with somebody who understands you and understands your property, uh, okay. because the steps of the sale are the same. Uh, you know, honestly, we're going to take photos. They're going to take photos. We're going to do a video. They're going to do a video. We're going to go on social media. They're going to go on social media. Uh, so ultimately, it depends on who you trust. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you were referred by friends for a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, your friends trust me. So, you know, I would suggest that uh, you take that with a grain of salt and, uh, you know, allow me to service you the way that I service them in a, in a you know, positive manner and, you know, got them over asking price. Um, you know. Uh, okay, okay. You, you got to the is, is there more or did you stop no i mean there's not there's not any more i mean i mean uh, okay. well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fill out an application they're gonna fill out an application i'm gonna put it on the mls or they're gonna put it on the mls i mean uh you know right. whether you have one year or 10 years in the business the steps of the sale are the same uh you know just because you've been in the business longer than perhaps me you know the, there's only so many blanks on the form that you can fill out i mean name name address address i mean it's not rocket science here to to list a house and to get it on the mls um you know basically we're going to be doing business because ultimately you trust me to do the best job to get to get this done um sign here press hard okay okay now we get to the objection part okay good good okay uh cassie welcome If you're able, I know you have kids. If you're able to unmute. Hi, Don. Probably Hi. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Probably not a good time to talk just because okay. I'm able to focus. I'm trying to listen in the background. Perfect. Go ahead and listen. We're happy you're here. So happy you're here. Brindley's learning too. Ah, yes, yes. I have a headset that would fit her perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> Thanks, guys, I appreciate all the input. Absolutely. Mr. Tally. He might be on his treadmill. <laughs> okay. There he is. Uh, you're on mute, bro. Okay, we're going to move on to Werner. Hi, Todd. Um, <clears throat> thank you for having me here. And uh, of course, I understand. Can, just a second. Can anybody hear Werner? Very little. Yeah. Huh. So. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pick on you um, on another day uh, when okay. when we can we can all hear you really well. Okay. Um. Who? Uh, let me see. I guess it's my turn. Okay. Who wants to uh, Who wants to beat me up on this? I have my lab coat on. Let's go. Todd, I greatly appreciate your presentation. You did an amazing job. But at the end of the day, uh, my wife's been harping on. Uh, interviewing uh, her cousin and uh, there's the neighbor that has uh, been saying that they've got a great referral as well so uh, I guess at the end of the day I just need to know what makes you different than the other guys great you know here's something interesting with the reason you bring this up I, I find this super exciting because the last seven people who asked this question ended up listing with me isn't that crazy <laughs> so i'm so i'm really happy you brought that up you know let, let's first by starting out with do you know the difference between passive and active marketing i do not okay as it relates to real estate brokers there was two categories there was the passive marketing and then there's the active marketing let me explain and differentiate between the both. You're going to see the value and what I bring to the table to get you the highest possible dollar amount. Here we go. Passive marketing. They'll put you in the MLS. They'll put a sign in the front yard. And then they wait by the phone for somebody else to sell it. Okay. Okay. 
That's everyone else. That isn't me. When you decide to sign this contract with me, Jim, you are personally putting me in charge to sell it. And the way I was trained and developed as a real estate broker, if you entrust that and you put me into that position, you are hiring me to sell the property. Okay. So let me first uh, explain. We will put this into the multiple listing service and immediately like this, we're going to put you on Redfin. You'll go on Zillow. By the way, Zillow gets close to 34 million views per month. So we're going to put you in a real sweet spot. Everyone in the world is going to be able to see your property. You're going to be able to share your property as you see it on your own um, uh, social media too. So it's going to have an incredible web presence. Redfin, Zillow, uh, we're going to use the best HD images because we know the first thing that people see is what it is that your property is going to represent. So we have to have a, an incredible visual representation of your property. Then through the verbiage that we're going to use, that I'm going to use the phraseology and the linguistics, this is where it becomes super strategic that we can connect with the right audience. And so through our linguistics and verbiage, what we're going to do is we're going to create a narrative. I have about 750 characters and I'm going to create a narrative out of the first half to tell the story about your property. And that's going to require you to do a little bit of the homework too, because you are part of this marketing plan as well, because you got to keep your house clean for me. When we bring people through, you have to make it accessible. And it's going to be uncomfortable for you at times because I want to create a, a, such a massive amount of traffic in here. I would also recommend maybe you getting out for the weekend uh, and taking some time off and maybe showing up and getting into a hotel. We'll talk about that in just a second. So with incredible imagery, virtual tours, high definition photographs, strategically put in a place that matches and mirrors the linguistics and phraseology that we're going to use. This is the neuroscience of creating a, a good outcome, because if we don't have good photography and proper phraseology, you're not going to make the connection necessary to the wallet. Eyes, heart, wallet. Okay. <laughs> the eyes are going to interpret and create a story. It's going to create an emotion. That emotion will create the trigger point for them to initiate the showing or call me directly off of that ad to get into this property, okay? We're gonna sp specifically put the sign in your front yard. Believe it or not, signage is incredibly important. I have strategically already th sought out a place where we're gonna put the sign, directional arrows to lead people through the neighborhoods even though they're using their GPSs. We love to have those large directional arrows to help navigate through. And there's another reason we do that, Jim. You wanna know why? Why is that? because there's going to be people in your neighborhood, Jim, that are not looking for themselves, but may know somebody. And if they see that there's a directional arrow, it's going to lead them to their house. They're going to look it up on their laptops or their mobile devices or their phones. And they're like, oh, wow, this is a great property. They may know somebody I can get a call from. It's all designed to make that phone call ring in my office so I can sell your property because there's no one else more qualified than me at this point to sell your home. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strategically put some boots on the ground, okay? This is gonna be a combination of uh, flyers being delivered, doors being knocked, and postcards being delivered, okay? This is all gonna occur before the outstanding double open house that we're gonna host at your property Saturday and Sunday with dual brokers being available because of the activity that we're going to create is going to require two brokers to be there. And after that, I am going to be monitoring, measuring and managing every bit of information, both virtually and boots on the ground, phone calls coming in, feedback coming back, and you're going to get it live time through me. Mm, that's a good one. I got, about, I got about five minutes, so I got to hurry it up. Do you see that this is a little more active than the other typical real estate broker? Oh, absolutely. Right. Um, by doing this, you're going to assure you're going to get the highest, highest um, price for your piece of property at the shortest period of time, negotiated 
in the most honest, fair, and reasonable way. Next, I'm gonna ask you to do a bit of homework. So here's a piece of paper. See, you haven't even hired me yet, and I'm giving you work to do. <laughs> so we're gonna get the property staged. Okay, we've talked about that. That's part of the marketing plan. We're gonna get the home inspection done. That's part of the marketing plan so we can present a package to the buyer and present a package to the other broker who's gonna be coming through who may not have any clue about your property, about your neighborhood, or what's going on around, around you. So on this piece of paper, I want you to list out a hundred unique things that you love about the property. That includes the inside and the outside in the community. Things that you've done. Uh, when was the last time you replaced the hot water heater? Everything that you can think of and imagine that you love and adore about this property, write down a hundred reasons why someone would love to buy your property. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna collect that before I use, I may use some of it, I may use some other things. Another, have you ever been in a piece of property? Studies have shown that the longer a buyer is in a piece of property, the higher the likelihood of them purchasing it. Mm. So, don't tell this to anybody, okay? We're gonna create a scenario inside the tour that will not only allow you the home to be, be presented in the way that I would present it to another real estate broker who probably has no clue about the surrounding area, that a buyer just clicks into some obscure Redfin website and they get some you know brand new broker who's getting paid two hundred dollars to show up and open up a house and they're checking their they're checking their social media while the buyer walks through. Oh, do you want to buy it or not? Okay, that's the typical presentation of your property. That won't happen with us. Even if that happens, we're going to position feature cards, Jim, around the property in strategic places feature. that present your property in such a way that it increases value. In addition, creates more marketability. And lastly, keeps the buyer in these hot spots of the home, which we know buying decisions are made. Should I continue or are you ready to move forward? Great job, Todd. <laughs> I like it. Let's sign. No, I, I like have, it. I'm a big believer I, in those feature cards too. Absolutely. Um, I have a 21 point plan of action written. Okay. And I just listed part of those 21. Can you share that with the, with the group on the Facebook or wherever? <clears throat> sure. Uh, it's yeah it, as a matter of fact um it is in my marketing plan uh, on my slideshow oh okay yeah and in 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 doing that and so what i'll do is um, as soon as i'm done i will look it up and send it out to everybody in the office <laughs> yeah and you know that is just a little bit of the introduction of what what are you going to do differently and what, why, why should I hire you? I know I, I present every piece, every point with a lot of energy. Um, and buyer, sellers like to see that energy, like to see the confidence uh, as you present it. And if you're gonna present something, a point, if you're gonna make a point, create value around that, okay? We're gonna put up feature cards, great. What the hell does that mean, okay? If I don't put any meaning besides, besides, okay, one of my points is I'm gonna put up a feature card and it's gonna tell the buyers what's going on in your property. <clears throat> okay, that's great, it, 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 it means it, but what value does it have to them? So try to build value around these points that you are explaining, okay? Um, <clears throat> the point of Having strategic linguistics and phraseology uh, attracts the right person for the property. The right people for your property pay more for the property than the audience that doesn't want to listen to country music, correct? They're not going to pay that much for a ticket to go see country music if they don't like country music. <laughs> but if they love country music, they're going to pay premium for a country rock star like you, okay? Nine o'clock. 
Excellent, excellent job. So, um, just uh, just some points. Sometimes you don't need to go through all of that blah stuff, you know. You but a point in time, you know, there's going to be a point where someone's going to say, "Hey, what are you going to do?" And if you don't have it somewhat internalized, throw out that piece of paper and say, "This is my 21 point plan of action." Okay. There's, uh, I always like to begin when somebody asks me this, you know the difference between passive and active real estate broker. You know? I like that. Passive, they sit around, they'll put your home on the market and they wait for somebody else to sell it. Active, that's not me. You're gonna hire me to sell your home. That's an old school belief, but there's no one more qualified to sell your house than me. That's an embedded suggestion, by the way. And I like the idea what Kim was saying of that it's not just you. I've got 50 other agents behind me. I'm one of that we are going to march forward on selling your home. And Absolutely. you're not just hiring the one. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. Terrific. All right. Well, <coughs> it's uh, the sun's out. Yeah, it and is. <laughs> the beach. I have a date with my beautiful. Oh, by the way, today's Rochelle's birthday. Happy birthday, birthday girl. Okay. Everyone says happy birthday, Shelly. All right. <laughs> well, have a wonderful, great day in real estate. Um, 